we are going to continue down the rabbit hole of Facebook event questions. So I did a video for a client a while back on how to set up a Facebook event. And you can find that video right here. I'm also going to link it down in the description. So if you're here wanting to set up a Facebook event from the beginning, then I would go check out that video first. On that video, I received comments and we're going to address one of those comments today. And here it is. It says, how do you add multiple dates to an event? So when I hear this, I think one of two things, either one, we're looking at an event that goes over multiple days or two, we're looking at doing reoccurring events. So events like a webinar or a class that maybe you offer multiple times. So we're going to talk about both of those. Now, what's really interesting when I went to go figure out the best solution for this question is that what Facebook tells you to do no longer works. That's one of the most frustrating things about Facebook is they roll things out to some people, not to others. They change things. Usually I find that the Facebook answer section is the best place to go. But for this it was not. So I really dug in and tested things out to try to figure out the best way and work around to get this done. So when I go to your events, and I did two test events. I did one that was private. I did public. I tried things that were in person and um, online, I did drafts, I did publish. I just kind of want to test everything to see if I could find any way to really have this this work. Uh, and I could find no way. It used to, you could go in and it said like create recurring events, you put in the dates. That no longer exists. And I think it's because Facebook wants these events to pop up to be easily algorithmed in. And what that means is that they can easily say, oh, this event this day at this time, plug it in. So having that easy plug in, they really wanted the events, I think, and the days separate versus like this is a reoccurring one. So I'm going to show you how the, the kind of the workaround. So I'm going to go first to this, te this test event. And you're going to come here into edit. And here is what you put in the amount. So I had this spanning over a multiple day. So this would be like you have a multiple day festival, a conference or something like that. Now you might see it just like this. When you go in, all you have to do is say add date and time and it gives you an end date and an end time. It is that easy. Now, if you're on a business page and you're setting up an event and you see that this little button next is not clickable, you wanna make sure you change this to public because for business pages, they'd like the events to be public. If you have a business and want to do private, I suggest a group for your business and have them connected and then do it within there. I'm gonna leave this page. Now, how do you set up events that happen one after the other? So let's say you have it multiple different times and you want to just have it recurring. How you do that now is it's called duplication. So you have an event that you have done. You go to this little button here and you say duplicate. This will duplicate the event and it'll pull in all the information you had before and you'll be able to put in all the other data that you want or that might change. Now, something that I noticed when I played around with this is that I can click duplicate event if the event is live. Now, I created this Oh, sorry, I went a little bit too far. I guess I want to go to comedy. <laughs> so I'm going to come into this draft one. And in this draft one, if I come over here to duplicate it, it doesn't allow me to duplicate it. So that's something you want to keep in mind is that if you come in here, you have to have it published before you can duplicate it. Now, if you say to me, Rachel, like this is an event that goes over multiple days, but it's only like a one event. So maybe it's a, a concert, like a multiple day concert, and you want to have the different bands that will be playing in that concert. There is one really cool thing that you can do, and that is only done when you come in and you do an event that's a duplicate. So I'm going to show you this because usually when people say like I want to put some type of 
you know, um, agenda in there, or I want to say it starts at this time on Monday, but this time on Tuesday and this time on Wednesday, you have to put it within the description. But I found this little hack. If you come in here and say duplicate event and you duplicate it, they have something here called add event schedule. And if you add the event schedule, you can actually put the name. So we're going to say test and the time. And then add event entry, test and the time. Add event entry, test and the time right? And you put save and it pops up right here, which is really cool. I'm hoping that this is one of the things that Facebook is like testing on like a little back end of the site and that sometime this will roll over out for all events because that would be so super cool. Um, but you can put the schedule in that way. Uh, but I only see that when you go through and you do a duplicate of an event. And I'm going to see how it kind of shows up at the bottom here. Now, if you have an event, and see it shows right here on the on the published page. Now, if you have an event and you want people to say I'm coming to the event and then maybe register for different parts of the event, then my suggestion is to do that all off Facebook on a different platform. There's places like Eventbrite and a whole slew of them that you can find one of these platforms and you can put in your event, you can do all the ticket sales through that. You could have a little bit more of those nuances and this use Facebook to promote it. When you do an event, you can say that you have, people can register for the event offline and put an offline link. And you can have a little button up here that says that they want to register for that event and they go to the offline link. All that is in this original video, so go check that out. If you have any other questions, if this video was helpful, please comment below, give me a like, subscribe to my, my channel. I love answering these questions and digging into anything business and marketing.